As Mayor of Mid and East Antrim Borough, I'm honoured you're all able to join me virtually as we mark the 68th anniversary of the MV Princess Victoria disaster. At present, we find ourselves in unprecedented times due to the current COVID-19 pandemic, and unfortunately, we are unable to come together in Larn for the annual memorial service this year. The MV Princess Victoria disaster was one of the worst peacetime maritime disasters claiming the lives of more than 130 people. It devastated families and communities in Mid and East Antrim, Strenraer and further afield. The ship was one of the first roll-on, roll-off designed ferries and made daily return crossings from Larne to Strenraer. On the 31st of January 1953, Captain James Ferguson was in charge of the ship and 49 crew members. Many of the crew were from Strenraer and the Larne area. As was usual for ferries at the time, no passenger list was kept, so it is not possible to state with certainty just how many people were on board when it set sail that morning. Approximately 127 passengers were on board, the majority from the Stranraer, Larne and Belfast areas. It also included passengers from across Scotland, England and Wales. Deputy Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, Major J.M. Sinclair and MP for North Down, Lieutenant Colonel Sir Walter Smiles, were both on board and did not survive the sailing. The ship set sail from Stranraer at 7.45 on the 31st of January and much of Scotland and Northern Ireland was in the grip of severe weather. After leaving the shelter of Loch Ryan, off Corsewall Point, the ship encountered the full fury of the storm. It was impossible to return to the shelter of Loch Ryan. Captain Ferguson made the difficult decision to proceed to Northern Ireland and hope for safety. The ship was drawing ever closer to the coast of Northern Ireland and eventually sunk five miles east of the Copeland Islands. All women and children on board the ship were lost. Reports suggest that many were in a lifeboat which smashed against the ship's upturned hull. The tragedy had a huge impact on Mid and East Antrim and Strumrar, with families on both sides of the sea affected by loss. 27 of the victims came from the Larne area. In the following days, large crowds attended the funerals of those lost, lining the streets of the town. Tales of heroism came to the fore. Many received bravery medals for their valiant rescue efforts that day, including posthumous awards to Captain Ferguson and David Broadfoot, the ship's radio operator. More than six decades may have passed, but the pain and sense of loss is still felt by many. Each year, a memorial service is organised by the Royal anti Delavian Order of Buffalo's MV Princess Victoria Lodge in conjunction with Mid and East Antrim Borough Council. A similar service is organised by our colleagues from Dumfries and Galloway's Council in the town of Stranraer. This year, on the 68th anniversary of the disaster, we are remembering in a different way due to the current coronavirus restrictions. Relatives of crew and passengers and those wishing to pay their respects will do this in their own time and convenience over the weekend following the coronavirus restrictions. It is difficult that we cannot be together, but we can still remember together and honour those who died in such tragic circumstances. It is without a doubt that future generations will continue to remember the MV Princess Victoria, the devastating loss of life, the valiant efforts of its crew and the bravery and courage displayed by all those involved in the rescue operation. My friends, we are met together this day that we might do something that is of the greatest importance and significance in the hearts and memories of the people of this town and community. 68 years ago, on 31st of January, in a storm of immense fury, the Princess Victoria, in an attempt to make her usual crossing from Stranraer to Larne, was overwhelmed and in spite of the best endeavours of her crew, finally foundered off the Copeland Islands. 144 lives were lost. The impact of the tragedy was such that it left a deep scar on the lives of the people of this town and community. A scar which marked all of that generation 
and which still remains. So we consider ourselves bound to honour the memory of those who were lost, that the Victoria and those who sailed in her will never be forgotten in this place. Let us hear now some words of scripture from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us join together in prayer. Let us pray. O God, our Father, in whose hands are the souls of all men and women, we seek the strength of thy presence. We bow before the power of this world around us, the mighty power of wind and water, and yet we acknowledge that thy power is greater, mighty above all else, and that only in thee can we find peace from the tumults of this life. We hold up before thee those who still bear in their hearts the sorrows of that tragedy through the loss of loved ones. Comfort them, O Lord, as only thou can. We hold up before thee the Royal National Lifeboat Institution and all who seek to serve in times of need. Sustain them and grant them courage that they may be a strength to those in trouble. We hold up before thee all those who go down to the sea in ships doing business on the great waters. Defend them in times of peril and bring them at length to their desired haven. Now, Lord, be with us this day as we do our duty and comfort us with thy everlasting hope and peace. For Jesus' sake. Amen.
said